快两斤水。Let me go back to study for last. I said, "You said that it is important to know who we are in Christ." The devil came after the identity of Jesus, but Jesus knew who he was, who and who, and he did not question himself. He did not have to to improve himself. To, no, he did not have to. Yes, he did not have to prove himself to the devil. That's true. We need to know who we are. That's one of the why first you know, you know when. When you when you make declaration with God's word, you you, are, you know you're just trying to edify yourself and telling yourself, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm on the go too. I hope you know it. Okay, so yes, okay. Mr. Pasi, welcome. I'm telling you for Mr. So a lot of bad traffic. So I hope you read the uh, the Bible passage for today in Matthew 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 four. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I need to go there. That so I need to go there. We must be careful not to fall into the trap of Of pride of life, loss of the eyes, and gifts of the loss of the flesh. Sorry, no, loss of the flesh. Sometimes we are too proud, and we allow the enemy to take advantage of of the moments of our vulnerability. That's true. That's true. That's true. Like, you know, if you don't want it, if you just, you know. He just knew who he was, and he wasn't proud that even when the devil was talking to him, and he was trying, he was able to, you know, use the word and to speak to the devil. And at the end of the day, he thought that what happened that the devil was giving him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so the ability of the leader, love of praise and power. Can make can make us become exalted and enslaved to the world desire. Oh, Stephanie, this book of which book have we been reading? But we are reading from Matthew four. Matthew four. I was talking about the disciple and uh, yeah, Matthew four. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm still waiting for your comments, sir. Please help us. Hello. <laughs> Some of us are fighting on the road. Do you have any comments? You want to? You can unmute your mic. Do you have any comments? Good evening. Welcome. We're reading Matthew four. Yes. All that said that jumped into my eyes was was okay. <laughs> Let me just see. Matthew seventeen. Matthew four seventeen. Where it says that from then on Jesus began to teach. Said the strength of your sin and turn to God for the kingdom of God. Yeah, friend of your sin. I remember when I was in that day where where the tank fire would scream <laughs> and say, "Defend the kingdom of God!" Yeah, so I just feel that if you if you all you know, have in mind that the kingdom of God is there, I think that we will remember the Lord more. Yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna say So we should always have in mind that the kingdom of God is there. The kingdom of God is 
again being that although Jesus was the Son of God and anointed and led by the Spirit of Although Jesus was the Son of God and anointed and led by the Spirit of God does not stop the fact that the devil did not send him. Yes. 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 He says that he will and we should just all be here living on his words say, say living on his word day and night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how said Yes, even on his body and you know, know that yeah, the temptation will come. This was tempted. Our father, our heavenly father has done to you and he has given us the grace and power to overcome. Yeah, and that uh, you know, we also all know that we are in because we, we, if we are children, I'm tempted in anything. But are we going to stand? Are we going to remember that uh, we are both children and you know, just knowing that we are children and we have to stand and all. Any questions? After Jesus was tempted and all, you know, he met himself with the disciples, and that was where he just said, See, and all. about the state of the view, every kind of view. Now I was talking about the Baba Tree thing that they see like over the thousand souls. Yes. This picture is just to be remembered and I'm like, God help me to do so for you guys. Help me to find this request in my daily uh, up and down to my at my uh, my work today the people I knew that I would be able to, to tell people about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one thing that just gets from to my mind. Okay, that's what also there for me. For me, it's without just a slide, it's, 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 it's okay, yes. It's because that for me, without just a slide, without even praying for a word. <laughs> so we can be, we 
can be seated with God's word. Yeah, yeah. Because we are by God's side. You can always be in a in a house of Jesus. You always have the word of God. So, Molola, all I think is that I'm not the first that speaks out for me. Another verse that stood out for me is Matthew 19, verse. Jesus said to them, Come, follow me, and I will make you, I'll make you, I'll make you, make you a kind of fisher, fisherman. You will bring in people, not fish. Yes, and that one to have yeah, done that. You like, like, will make us fishermen. You make us The first of these things that we should know our every, our every stage and rise to God our internal. We should not be carried away by temporary or by the devil. Yes, yes. Now, what we do is we should always remember who we are, the child of God, and that we are a child of God and not be carried away by temporary of the devil. Oh, Salola is here. Yeah. Okay, let me just leave it here. Yeah. Sister came to where Daniel said that for his for his the obedience of the disciples when he called them to follow him. Yeah. The Bible says this is that his intention is to is to steal the devil's intention is to steal and kill and destroy. I wonder if there was a technique in choosing the disciples. But that's that sometimes, at least for me, I tend to get caught up with things happening within my day. So it, it was more like I woke up, it was more like a wake up call, the most important thing and the great commission. That's so. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for everyone that has you know, contributed in today. Okay, for the life here, let us you know just. Tap into what we just read and you know our own lesson about Matthew 4. So let me take the stage. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Good evening, family. I'm so, so sorry. Everything that needed to go right went right. I don't want to say wrong. Wow. Wow. Like everybody has, I'm just reading what everybody has been uh, put down in the chat. Like it's, it's like you people are just, everything I put down is what I'm seeing in the chat. Um, I don't want to take us back. I'm thinking if we just continue, because we have just 15 minutes to go. You know, and you know when I was reading that part, what really got to me was um, the way Jesus was calling people. They don't know what is at stake. And, you know, for me, I was like, ah, ah. Because, you know, Jesus is not as if he has been doing miracle before that time. It was just immediately after he was tempted in the wilderness. And, you know, he just went out and started making, choosing his disciples. And the, the way they were just living, what they were doing, and okay, let me follow this man. You know, for me, just he, 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 like the, the kind of trust they have for Jesus for me was amazing because I don't think they know him. I don't like like that. I don't think they know, okay, this is his house, this is his family, and they, they left everything. They left everything and, and they followed him. Like, you know, somebody that has that has a career, he said, mm, let me just, let me trust this, this person and just follow. And that's, that's how each and every one of them was, was chosen. So, so I'm just trying to put myself together just because now, you know, that alone got me thinking, I said, People that we truly know, we don't, we don't really follow them the way Peter, 
and the rest, the way they left everything and followed Jesus. And, you know, it's, it's, that was why it was summer for me. I know the journey was, wasn't too easy. There was a time they got tired, but then, you know, because of the trust they have in Christ, they were able to follow, they were able to, and you know, Jesus Christ told them, he said, come, I will make you fishers of men. You, 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 won't, be, you, you won't be going after fish, but you'll be, you'll be going after men. Make, meaning, if making you guys my disciple, your life up to discipled order, like through you, many will come to me. Because that was, that was what just dropped in my spirit. I will make you fishers of men. Through me, through you guys, many will come to know Christ. And, you know, that was what happened. Well, you know, when he now told them in, in, in the book of Acts that they, they, they should stay in a place, they will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon them. You know, still, they trusted him. They were, they, they were able to follow, follow Jesus with, you know, with one heart. They were able to follow him and at the end of everything, they didn't lose. They didn't lose anything. They were able to, you know, they gained so much and wow, God, God, God I, I saw God in, in their life. And, you know, for me, I just I have to like, okay, let me bring it to now. How are we being discipled? Then how are we discipling others? Is our life truly glorifying God? Are we truly showing the glory that Christ has embedded in us? Are we truly showing that 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 um, discipleship traits that He called His own to show forth? You know, for us to be fishers of men. It means our life have to count for Christ. Like everything Pia has been teaching us, are we living our life? Is our life truly worthy to be called a true child of God? You know, sometimes I wondered, you know, recently I have somebody so dear to me and um, recently I find out that um, I've been trying to, you know, I'll be find, finding it difficult to, that person had done some things to me, like I was just piling up. And now like, what I'm feeling towards that person is not what a true child of God should be feeling. That is just the truth. I know for me, I just like, was it this week? I have to go back to Psalm 139 just to plead with God to take this, this, my because I know with with the way I'm feeling, I can't bring I can't bring anybody into Christ. With the with the way I'm feeling, but thank God I was able to notice. I was able to trace it. I was able to track it, and I was able to like Father, just help me, take me out of these feelings. Because you know our feelings, the 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 the, the way the way they they they, they affect our Christian life, the way they affect our Christian journey so, um, is, is so alarming. But, you know, it takes the grace of God for us to know that hmm, the, 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 my, my actions or my behavior at this moment can't bring anybody to Christ. I just pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Wow. I, I have some things I've I've put down. I'm just trying to go through it. I don't want to rush us so much. Um, okay. Um, there is this um part that I, um I stumble onto and saying spiritual nurture in discipleship. Spiritual nurture. We'll be able to go deep into what I have in my notes, but let me just see if I can just touch one. I'm so sorry. I didn't plan this. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, everybody. And um, Philippians 4 9 says, These things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, this do, and the God of peace will be with you. This is Paul speaking here to the Philippians. He said, This that they've learned 
You know, Paul is another person that really disciples so many people. His life tell of the glory of God. You know, after he was he was changed, after his name was changed from Saul to Paul, he really like he he, he was sold out for God. He really lived his, his life for Christ. And you know, you know, even when Paul when so when Peter was was um going against what God, like uh, going against um, what he believed is a doctrine, he was able, Paul was able to recognize that, why are, you, why are you behaving like an hypocrite? Why are you, 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 you were eating with the, with the Gentiles and you saw the Jews and you, you, you just changed, you pretended as if you were not with them, you know? He was able, you can't disciple people this way. And because Paul's life, Paul's life, every step, he was conscious of, 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 God's, of, of God's presence in his life. He was conscious of like everything he was doing. He was making sure that Christ is seen. He was so that for Christ. He, he, he surrendered everything. He didn't withhold anything. Because, you know, he, he, he understand the way, the life he was living before. And he was able to see the difference between when he was in the world and when he has accepted Christ. And you know, Jesus Christ, he said that, um, he was in Galatians, he said, no man called me. He knew that being a disciple of Christ indirectly, because you know, it was not, it was not a, when Jesus was here, it was not part of the, the, the 12 disciples that Jesus chose. But you know, he, he, he was called specially and he understood he understood why he was called. He understood that he need to do the work of God that have sent him. And he, and he was telling the Philippians, he said, the things which you learn and receive and heard and saw in me, this do and the God of peace will be with you. Only if we do what God has ordained us to do. You know, there is this... Um, I I am I, um, my there's this like a, a leader that I look up up onto. She normally says something. She said that anytime she opened her eyes, like every morning, she she opened her eyes. She knew that she's not done what God has committed into her hands. She said she knew that it's an, another opportunity as a disciple of Christ to do that which has been committed into her hands. And you know, I have to imbibe that. I have to learn that, that every day of my life that I open my eyes, I know that God didn't take me. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. It means my life have to, to, to be an example for others. I have to disciple others too. Spiritual nurture is an integral part of the discipleship process. It is done by teaching someone the importance of prayer, studying the word regularly, and attending church and fellowship services always. You know, we don't just teach. We don't just, we are not just learning for learning. We are learning so that others can learn from us. We are following Christ so that others can see the light in us. You know, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 61, he said, we are the light of the world. He said, our light will so shine. He said, we will arise and shine for our light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. If we are not a disciple, if you are not, if you are not a disciple of God, or if you, if you are not following Christ, there is no way we can shine. You know, today, <laughs> while in the market, I am I, um, two women. I was, I was trying to buy something for them and I, I met her talking to another woman. And she was saying the kind of people she associates herself with, that there are people that their life must like that their life is always glorify God. She said she, she does not she does not use to associate herself with people that that, that 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 don't know Christ. 
you know, I met them while talking, but you know, because she she was she was she was so engrossed in what she was saying that see, you have to stop following people that they are, they are not that they are not shining. You have to stop following people that that they can't disciple others. She said, see, when you come to Christ, you will see the light. When you come to Christ, your life will be able. You will be able to shine. You will be able to see. Able, others will see Christ in you. They will see the glory of God in you. You know, and the other woman, I saw that somehow she was, she was, she was shy because immediately I got there, she stood up. She was like, I'm coming. I'll come back and come and listen to you. But, you know, I was just have to, you know, and I remember the, the topic we're going to talk tonight. I said, Ma, what she's saying is just the truth. Your life has to bring others to Christ. You can't be you can't be rolling with people that they can't say these are Christians. We can't just be we can't be church goer alone. We are alive have to speak of of God's glory of God's goodness. And you know we are that, that, that this in being a disciple. We need to understand that we are here for our father's business. We are here to do what God has commanded us to do. We are not just living. We are not just living on this earth aimlessly. We have a purpose. He said, you know, for each and every one of us, there is a volume of book written concerning us as a disciple of Christ, there is a volume of book which we must adhere to, which we must we must strictly follow for us to make that heaven. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Wow. Half so much in my notes. But um, I want us to continue to contribute. I want us to continue to contribute. If there's anything you want us to add, we are we are, we can we can drop it in, in the chat box. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Disciples are stewards of their of, of, of their rabbi's business. Like what I said, we are here for a purpose, we are here to be able to disciple others. Every genuine disciple is like a son to his to his father. We are like we are like sons to, to God, and we have a duty to protect the latter's interest. Jesus Christ, our Lord, did nothing apart from his father's business. You know, he was able to we able to see God in Christ, even though we know. That is a is 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 a, is the son of God. He is God Himself. But you know everything, every 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 everything that Jesus did on earth was just pointing us back to to God. And likewise, we, as a disciple, we must always point people back to God. We must not be. We must not at any point take the glory. For ourselves, we must always continue to point people back to God. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Any contribution? Any contribution? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Wow, well, God will help us. He will give us the grace to be a true disciple. He will give us the grace to walk the work that God has called us into. We will not just pass just like that on this earth, we will fulfill destiny, we will fulfill everything. And our life will, 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 our life will so shine that people will see good, the, 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 the work that God has committed in our hands 
will, will fulfill it, will, will not die on the way, will finish well, will finish strong in the name of Jesus. God will give us the grace to be a true disciple of God. He will give us the grace to serve him in spirit and in truth. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you. I'm so sorry for coming. I'm so sorry for <laughs> that I didn't really deliver the way I, I have planned it. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please let, can we pray? In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, ancient of days, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. We adore you. We honor you because you are God. We thank you for your grace upon our lives. Thank you, Daddy, because you have made us, oh God, your true disciple. Daddy will pray that the grace, oh God, to continue to do the work that we that you, God, have committed into our hands. We pray you grant unto us in the name of Jesus. We pray for grace to continue, oh God, to be a true disciple of you. We pray for grace to continue to be a true disciple of you. We pray you will not leave us, neither will you forsake us. We pray that your grace will continue to strengthen us, oh God. Your grace will continue to strengthen us from glory to glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh God, that if there's anything in our lives, oh God, that is not, oh God, speaking, oh God, the truth. So we pray that tonight you will help us, oh God. You will give us the grace to be sensitive, oh God. You give us the grace, oh God, to be sensitive, to know, oh God, when you, God, are nudging us in the name of Jesus. Ancient of days, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. As we go to lay our head to rest, we pray that your presence has gone ahead of us. We will sleep in peace and wake up in peace. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy are following us all the days of our lives and will continually dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family. I'm so sorry for tonight. Please forgive me. Please. Thank you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for God bless you. Thank you. Good night.